We're Mike and Tricia, and in this one, we're at the dramatic landscape of Duffus Castle on the Murray Coast, where our wee Doug Kira is roped into becoming a top model for a fashion magazine. Then it's onwards and upwards, five stories upwards at Spiny Palace, where, for 500 years, the bishops of Elgin entertained kings and queens. Well, we've woken up to a real drich morning today, so we have drich, a great Scottish word that, isn't it? There's nothing like that in the English language that quite says it. It just means everything is soaking wet, and you can see the moisture almost hanging in the air over the barley fields. It's a great view all the same. I love sitting here just looking out at the barley. And this has been a fantastic little stopover at this little campsite, CL site, of course. Really good value for money it's been, I think. £18 and we've had electric hookup. What do you think about that? Good value for money, isn't it? Suppose £18. Some people might think that's quite expensive for a CL site. However, this one's got the toilets here. There's a, what is it, little cubicles that they have here? Yeah. Um, and you've got fresh water, electric hookup. Lovely quiet site. There is a main road, but you don't really hear that at night. And it was six minutes in the van to get here from the Tesco in Elgin. Yeah. So it's not too far. So I suppose if you really did, you could walk into Elgin from here. But pretty dark at night. Pretty dark at night. How do you think it compares to the Findhorn site? So that was a motorhome air and that was £17. Yeah, so it was £17. Had toilets. Um had the location, but didn't have electric hookup. Well, we'll just finish our coffees and we'll get on the road, eh? We're members of Historic Scotland and we're using the handbook to decide on which site we want to visit today. We don't know it yet, but Kira is on her way to become a fashion supermodel. This is where we've come out to today. It's Duffus Castle, a Mott and Bailey castle dating originally to 1150. It was a timber structure at first, completed by William de Moravia, a name he'd adopted meaning William of Murray. It's thought that the stone castle was built after 1305 by Sir Reginald Chain, but that proved to be a mistake because over time the north wall slid down the hill, forcing the castle to be abandoned. The Motton Bailey Castle was encircled by a wet ditch, still crossed by this ancient bridge. Ah, uh, at last I've found out what's the Mott and what's the Bailey. I've often wondered, I always thought the Mott was the moat around the outside, but it's not. According to this, the Mott is the mound which the castle was built on and the bailey was the flat area below where they lived. Right, better catch up. Up here in the castle, it can be quite a noisy place at times actually. It's close to RAF Lossiemouth and there's been a few planes, RAF planes coming in and taking off while we've been here. And not only that, there's a little fashion photo shoot going on behind me <laughs> yeah i'll just see if i can get a look at what's going on without getting in the way lots of people around the model and they're clearing out ah the photographer now is going to do his thing never seen a fashion shoot before but first time for me can't believe it kira's actually getting asked to join the photo shoot <laughs> Right, Kira. <laughs> there she goes. She's very excited. I don't know if she'll be able to stay still. Come here. I thought that might have happened. Well, if anyone can get Kira to stay still, it's going to be Trisha. I'm sure she can do it. She's just so excited. Look at her. She doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> That's it. I think she seems to be okay. There's the photographer now taking a few photos. 
Oh, Trisha's got her hand up to just keep her eye, keep her focused. There's a girl taking photographs on her phone. Maybe that's for backup. Trisha's directing, isn't she? She's still doing well. That's it. You're doing well, Kira. Hold your nerve. I know you're a fashion model, but just keep it going. Hold that pose. I think she's aced it. Oh, yes. Well done, Kira. Well done. After Kira's fashion shoot, I decide to go down to have a look at this section of the north wall. It collapsed several centuries ago, but hopefully it's okay now. It's like it's ready to fall. And you feel like you want to do this <laughs> as you walk in. There's a lovely wee cafe here, so we thought we'd treat ourselves, why not? And give them a little bit of business. So I'm having a sausage roll, it's pork and haggis. <laughs> and Trisha is having a vegetarian one, and we've got a couple of goodies to share between us as well. But how good was that? Kira getting in an actual photo shoot, professional photo shoot for a magazine. Yeah, Gemma always said if Kira was a human, she'd be a Naomi Campbell of the world because she's so gorgeous, eh? It was good to ask him if she could go in the photo shoot, eh? I saw you directing a little bit. Yes, you've got to sort of encourage Kira where to look and things like that. But this, she sat really well. She did really, really good. So proud of her. So do you know when Kira's going to be in that fashion magazine? Uh, I think she said it comes out in November. November, but we don't know what the magazine no, is, do we? But if she emails me the picture, then I can ask her. Right, okay. And then we'll need to buy ourselves a copy of the magazine. Of course. I'm looking forward to that, actually. I bet the, the photographs will be really good because it's a professional outfit. Yeah. Wasn't uh, it? Yeah, and hopefully Kira will come out really well because sometimes she can be difficult because she's so dark. That's true. I find it difficult all the time. She's very photogenic, but being a black dog, quite often all you get is a black shape. A black blob. Yeah. Oh, look at all the piggies. Put me in the mood for a bacon sarnie. Stop it, you. What? Anyway, we're finally doing the rounds today because the next stop is going to be Spiny Palace. And sure enough, we've arrived at the car park for Spiny Palace. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves, but we'll not be complaining. We like it when it's nice and quiet. Here we go, Spiny Palace. And into the reception. Hiya. Right, you members? Yeah. Awesome. That's one. There's two of you. There's two of us. That's right, that's right. If you saw our last video when we visited Elgin Cathedral, well, all of the bishops from that cathedral, this is where they actually stayed. So they liked their grandeur, didn't they? I've decided to come up these steps on my own as a bit difficult, I think, for Kira. So. I will trek up the stairs. Oh, at least it's not enclosed in one of these sort of tower things. And we'll see what's up here. Ooh, let's have a wee looky in here. Uh, well, those are the stairs to nowhere. I don't think I'll be going up those. But we'll go in here, shall we? Let's have a wee look. I would imagine that these were all floors. Very atmospheric. They've obviously built a roof on top. I think these holes would have held the floor struts to put the floor in. And then it seems like that stair must have come up to here. And then we've got the window looking out to the trees. And there's Mike with Kira having a wander around the Great Hall. 
And this is the Great Hall. It's some size. I wonder if they had banquets or anything like that in here. Certainly big enough. We're going into the southwest tower now. Which is just a shell on the inside. It's also known as David's Tower after the Bishop David Stuart, 1462. And we can go upstairs in this one as well. That's us on the top floor, or no, at least. No, I think there's another floor to go. I think. Well, the stairs go up. Oh, so, so they do. Maybe so there's do. another floor. But it's a better view of the fireplace now, that big fireplace. Yeah. And there's another fireplace over there. So there is. I didn't spot that one. Yeah. It's a big, long drop down. Yeah. Do you think that's original plaster work, the remains of the old plaster? Probably some of it is, but a lot of it won't be, I would have thought. Yeah. They probably tried to preserve it as best they can. It's very quiet, isn't it? Mm. I like all the greenery. I mean, that's Nature quite smart. Nature takes over. <laughs> Kira seems to be managing a bit better on these steps. Now we're definitely at the top this time. Nope. <laughs> oh, we're not. Some height you're up. Tall tower. Very tall tower. I think it was one of the tallest in Scotland during its time. They must have been really short monks in their days, eh? And bishops. Imagine walking through this with your bishop's hat. Getting knocked off. These two holes that are here are called murder holes and they would throw things down these to stop people trying to enter the gate and there's still remnants of the portcullis hole here as well. Very interesting. Did you enjoy that? I thought it was great, yeah. I love these places. Yeah, really good. And have you seen, because it's like misty, all the spider's webs in the grass, you can yeah. see with the dew sitting on them. <laughs> I love that. They're I do busy, love aren't that. they? Busy little things. Work hard for their lunch. <laughs> anyway, will we get away and have a wee cup of tea back at the van, eh? Yeah, and then maybe head on to the next place, eh? Good idea. Mm -hmm.